Twix the Border Collie is one happy pup. I was really excited to see my dog because I really missed her. Two of her humans are finally back with her after getting stuck in San Diego. Their parents relieved to have their 13 and 15 year old daughters home. Unfortunately, we had no clue that getting back from San Diego to Sacramento would be such a nightmare for the kids. Their 72 hour ordeal started early Christmas Day when the two unaccompanied minors were set to fly home after visiting with their grandparents. Their flight was delayed, kept getting delayed, 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 delayed. The increasingly concerned parents burning up the phone lines trying to get a hold of Southwest. We were given a number for the operations desk at San Diego Southwest, which we've spoke to for over 72 hours. I want to thank those people. Myla Kufold and Bryson Reef started the day waiting inside a small baggage services office just beyond a carousel, now surrounded by hundreds of lost luggage items. They're on day four after their original attempt to get to Sacramento from Missouri. I've flown so many times, never seen anything like it. Their baggage separation saga started Christmas Eve. Their flight, like those of hundreds of thousands of air travelers across the country, got canceled after they'd already checked their luggage. They rebooked it for Christmas Day on Southwest, but that flight got canceled too. And then they were told they wouldn't be able to fly on Southwest until Friday. So the pair asked to get their bags back. And they told me that they weren't um, they weren't taking it off the tarmac. They're sending it to wherever you were supposed to go. Not able to stay in Missouri and miss work, they made other travel plans. So I just completely canceled our flights and rebooked with American Airlines. But even with tickets on another carrier, they still couldn't get their luggage back from Southwest. But they kept our bags and still sent them here without us. Southwest Airlines telling KCRA3 it plans to operate on a reduced schedule, only flying roughly a third of its schedule over the next several days, if not more. Reporting from SMF, Melanie Wingham, KCRA3 News. And we did reach out to the airline today. They say that they are finalizing a resource to provide additional assistance to customers with reuniting lost or missing baggage.